everybody, it is Orlitha with 20 Dishes and I am super excited to share with you today um, a recipe that I'm making with my Butcher Box meat. So I got, um, we're working with Butcher Box this uh, month for a giveaway where we will be giving away a Butcher Box and if you see uh, there's a video below where I'm unboxing all the meat that's in there, there's a ton of meat that's in there. So I'm making today um, bacon wrapped chicken bites, yum, made with their organic chicken and also, um, they are paleo friendly bacon. And so if you are looking for something like that, there is a great giveaway that we're, we're hosting. So you can get this too. If you want the recipe, I put the link in here. And then also want to let you guys know that we are totally doing a webinar this Sunday. I will pop the link in this video and it's free. And I will be showing you how to prep an entire week of dinners and sides in an hour. Yes, you heard me right. An hour. So I'll pop the link in here. It's totally free for you to register. All right, so I've already seasoned the chicken. I've cut it up and I seasoned it because a lot of times I see people who make bacon wrapped chicken and they just sort of wrap their chicken and then cook it. And I'm like, hmm, that doesn't sound like right. So I cut up my chicken and I seasoned it. And now I'm just gonna use um, their bacon. And what I did is I cut it into in half. Each of the slices are in half. And I stretch them out a little bit to make sure that they're gonna make it all the way around the chicken. And then I just wrap my chicken, use my knife, and cut right there. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna pop that right in the pan. And the reason that I'm putting it in the pan is because I wanna make sure that that chicken gets nice and crispy. You don't, or the bacon gets nice and crispy. You do not, like, I don't like soggy, or limp meat, bacon. That didn't sound right, but I don't, nobody likes that. So <laughs> make sure you put it in the, um, in the pan and it will crisp it right up for you. So I'm just gonna do a few of these and then pop them in the pan and then put them right on the stove. What I do is I put them in the, on the stove and then I let them go uh, for a bit until they look nice and brown. And then what I do is I put them in the oven, finish them in the oven. So I'm gonna put a few of those in there, stretching out my bacon here again. And I'm just gonna put a few more of these in this pan and I am going to put that on the oven, on the stove. And I finished them in the oven at about, mm, maybe about 350. Um, that piece is not long enough. So I'm gonna grab another piece of bacon. Don't wanna be stingy with my bacon, right? <laughs> All right, so I've got those in the pan. Don't wanna have any crowding there. And I'm just gonna pop those over here on the stove. And voila, with the magic of the internet, I happen to have some that are already done. Who knew? So this is <laughs> this is what they will look like when they are done, nice and brown and crispy and juicy because they finished off in the oven. So that is um, again our bacon wrapped chicken bites. Those are great for lunch too because you can take the kids can take those to lunch and don't have to heat them up, and they're great chopped up, cut up, sliced up on a salad too. It's amazingly good. So if you want this recipe. Again, the link is below. Join us for our Butcher Box giveaway where you can get your own Butcher Box, your own big old box of meat. Um, and I hope to see you guys on Sunday as we are doing another webinar of, like I said, prepping an entire week of dinners in an hour and sides as well. So I'll pop that link down there and hope to see you guys on Thursday as we sip and prep, plan, <laughs> plan and prep, sip. <laughs> See you guys on Thursday and I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Bye!